If you're in the mood for cozy food, Lee Belanger is your go-to guru. I've been cooking for a long time, since I was a teenager, and I mainly learned through seeing people in my family do it, through cookbooks. Belanger's new cookbook is My Kitchen Chalkboard, seasonal menus for modern New England families. The recipes focus on batch cooking, preparing a lot of food at once to last the week. So what are we cooking today? Please be nice to me. I'm going to be super nice. All of this looks intimidating. Okay. <laughs> this looks the, like the, a sea creature. I know. Creature. It looks like a crustacean. <laughs> what so this is, is this? This is fresh turmeric, and I have to say, I, I mean, I don't use this all the time. Yeah. But I just couldn't resist. One of Belanger's favorite winter recipes is a savory and protein-rich red lentil soup. Its secret sauce, curry paste. These are all ingredients that you would use on their own to enhance the flavor of something, right? Garlic, shallot, a member of the onion family, fresh ginger, fresh turmeric, lemongrass, a chili pepper. Put those all together and you just have this flavor bomb, essentially. This is a Fresno chili. Okay. This is gonna give some heat as well as some, a beautiful color. Bring on the heat. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's got some spice, yep. right? <laughs> you win. <laughs> oh my god. It's hot. It's hot. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Oh but so god. that's going to get diffused, right, with a lot of the mm -hmm. other ingredients. Including coriander seeds, lime zest, coconut oil, salt, red lentils, and onions or other veggies. I sometimes make a double batch. I put half in the freezer. I love it because lentils cook really quickly. And they take about 35 minutes to cook. So if you've got this curry paste done already, you can make dinner relatively quickly. It's three cups of lentils, 10 cups of water. You can also use chicken stock, vegetable stock. We're gonna add spinach at the very end. And we have lentil soup. Yay! Hey, it looks so good. If I actually made this, my husband would be so impressed. <laughs> so impressed. This is the best lentil curry soup I have ever, can say that ever with, had. With conviction. With conviction. This is delicious. Thank you. So funny because the paste that we made was so spicy. Yeah. That kick isn't there right. anymore. Yeah, so it mellowed out when we cooked it. Another cold weather comfort, udon noodles and beef broth with shiitake mushrooms and bok choy. I braised some, some stew beef and beef stock that I sort of doctored up with ginger and star anise and garlic and shallot. And I cooked that. I can put it in the oven or on the stovetop, walk away, come back two hours later, and I have a super flavorful broth and beef that I can shred. And I like to actually put radishes on this one. The broth is so good. This is warm and cozy. Super warm wow. and cozy. I don't even want to use a spoon or a fork. <laughs> I just want to go back <laughs> and drink, drink it. it. <laughs> this is delicious. I could eat this all day. And finally, the quintessential wintertime dish, chicken pot pie. Belanger makes chicken stock by poaching a chicken with carrots, celery, and onions. I use the stock to help me start the filling. My chicken pot pie has fennel, leeks, carrots, peas. It's got a little bit of heavy cream, some parsley, and a little bit of lemon juice just to sort of give it some acidity to brighten up the filling and just give it a little lighter flavor. The pie pastry is store-bought. When you cut into everything, you hear the little crispy sounds. When we started this, I didn't want to tell you that I'm not a pot pie person. This Thank you for not telling awesome. me. <laughs> this is so good. Thank you. It is comfort food. Yeah. All you pot pie people out there, this one's for you. That pot pie was good. And the curry paste that went into the lentil soup can also be used as a rub or chicken or on fish as well. And it's easy to freeze. Lee also says you can add coconut milk to the lentil soup to make it richer. We will have all of her recipes from our shoot online on our webpage after the show. Coming up, this is not your grandmother's hot cocoa.